What's up everybody? Your boy Showtime Doctor. Got a bit of an update here for Shining Beyond. Unfortunately, they've been delayed again, so here's the developer update. I'll read it for you. My uh, dear players, a heartfelt thanks for all of us here at the Shining Beyond team for your patience throughout our development. Throughout this time, the team has worked closely with publishers and testers, fine-tuning and polishing this project that has evolved into something far bigger than an vision. This pushes our first official launch in select regions, quarter 1, 2020, a little later than our initial projection at the end of 2019. Uh, before that, they actually had a projection for around July, and that fell through, so... Whoever wrote this, maybe they just joined the team or something they're misinformed. Uh, we understand that our players are eagerly anticipating the completed game and would like to announce that Shannon Beyond has been signed with multiple publishers across different regions preparing for a grand launch in 2020. With better support from these publishers, we'll be able to hold more local events in all these regions to better reach our players. Rest assured that the team remains dedicated in our pursuit of quality and sparing no effort in making sure that we only release the best possible product. Please enjoy the preview of our new hero gallery. I'll begin the play here. Uh, our new hero gallery in the meantime, and we expect a more concrete announcement in the upcoming beta release within the next couple of months. Um, so this game... I'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay on it later when we get there, but uh, it's kind of a top-down dungeon crawler RPG. The thing that attracted me to it was you have four-man teams, and then... Uh, if you have friend units, you can actually go into a dungeon when you're AFK. So whenever you log off, you gotta go work or whatever. And you can log in with two other uh, friends, so up to 12 people in the dungeon. And you could just auto-clear stuff and get some XP and gold and whatever else. I thought that would be cool, but it is actually an active game. It does have some active quantities to it. So I've been looking forward to this, but they keep getting delayed, and... Uh, the way it's looking now, if it's really going to be quarter one, 2020, which of course latest is March 31st on that, uh, they're going to be releasing right around the time that Final Fantasy War Visions is coming out and a couple other really big name games. We just got, uh, there's a new Naruto MMO that just got announced as well. So, kind of hoping, I mean, it's way better to, uh, release a game in a finished condition, as, uh, Anthem has taught us this year, among many others, Fallout 76. <laughs> but better to release it late than to release it early and have it be total crap, because you only really get a good, get one chance to make a first impression. So, uh, real quick though, let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the here. And let me know what you think. I guess this is going to be the big story here. So there's your little... I think in this case it's a three-man cell, but you see the space there for the extra person. It looks like, uh, from what I can see, the translation's gone pretty good. Uh, 
Now, I'm not sure. It looks like there's two uh, active skills plots. Not sure if that's going to improve or, excuse me, uh, become more plentiful in the future. But overall, it's looking pretty good. Originally, when this was announced, I thought it was uh, related to Shining Force, the old Sega games, or Shining in Darkness, which was one of my favorite dungeon crawlers. The boss. <laughs> and then also, I know that uh, I think it was either one of the publishers or something like that was related to the people that were doing Sin of Alice. Uh, not Nexon, but like they were partnered with them in some capacity. So once Sin of Alice was a, under the demise, we all feared the worst for this game. But they're saying they're going to keep going and they're showing us lots of gameplay on their Facebook. Lots of different, like, development systems and introductions to characters and all that, so... I'm not sure if there'll be English voice acting. That was easy. <laughs> that made it seem harder. Well, there you go, guys. So that's the preview for this. Now, I'm going to put a link to their Facebook page. They actually got a lot of uh, little introduction videos to, like, the inventory system and some character introductions and some more gameplay right there. So if you're interested... That'll be in the title info, and that's going to be it for this update on Shine and Beyond. Hoping it'll come out, hoping it'll be, uh... Always hope good for, uh, getting some creativity out there. Just like you should, in my opinion. But anyways, let me know what you think. If you're looking forward to this one, if you're just going to add it to the pile, who knows. <laughs> and I'll be catching you guys later on. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great day.